so when I was doing my base I took my foundation and powder across my lids and that was how I prepped the eyes today. Now I'm using a felt tip eyeliner pen to map out the outline of my winged eyeliner and that's just going to help me out later on. My palette of choice today is the ABH Soft Glam Palette and I've uploaded a couple of other tutorials already on this palette and I'll link them below for you to check out if you haven't seen them. The first shade I'm taking is called Dusty Rose and it's a gorgeous matte mauve shade and I'm adding this into the crease. As you can see I'm using the edge that wing as a guide and I'm blending my shadow in from that point and if you are new here in short I draw the outline because it saves me from messing up later on. It stops me wasting shadow, I apply it where I need to and I don't need to tidy it up later on and I don't fill in the outline because with blending and applying shadow I personally find the buffing and blending motions of my brush cause the liner to fade or break down. So I just fill in my outline when I'm finished with my shadow. So now I'm using a small bullet shaped brush to apply that same shadow down along the lower lash line and because this is the first shade I want to buff it out quite a bit so I'm switching back now to a fluffy blending brush and I'm diffusing those edges. Next I'm taking the shadow mulberry and this is one of my favourite eyeshadows in the palette. I've picked up some of this shadow on a fluffy blending brush and I'm beginning by pressing this over the lid area working my way from outer to inner corner. Now usually I'd use a small flat C shaped brush to pack colour onto the lid but I'm going to be fading this shade out into the crease and by using a fluffy blending brush it's going to allow me to apply less eyeshadow which makes blending actually easier to do. If I want to intensify the shadow I just reapply it so I'm gradually building up that shadow and you could leave this as is as a two shadow look it works really well but I'm going to add some black in a minute you know me I can't pass up the black. <laughs> I'd usually use a small angled brush to press shadows into the lower lash line but I found this Smashbox brush in my collection that my mom got me like 10 years ago. It's just a small flat brush and it works great for packing shadow along the lash line in this case anyway but it has many uses. Once I've built up the shadow down along the lash line then I'm going to lightly smoke out the edges again with my small bullet shaped brush. To add some depth to the look I'm going in with this matte black shadow called Noir and I'm using it on a flat C shaped brush to pack the shadow onto the outer third of the eye. So with the eye closed I'm pressing the shadow along the wing so I'm applying the shadow at an angle and this is going to lift and elongate the eyes and that will be enhanced in a moment when I add my liquid liner. So I just use a flat C shaped brush to apply the shadow onto the area and then I like to use my pencil brush to soften the edges. Now that I'm finished adding shadows, well to the lid area and the crease at least, I can apply my liquid liner. Now you can use whatever medium you're most comfortable with. As you can see now I literally just need to fill in that outline so this method is basically foolproof. You're just filling in the blanks so you can't really mess it up. I wanted to add some further drama then to the look so I'm pulling the liner down to a point in the inner corner of my eye and then I'm pulling the liquid liner back in towards my tear duct and across the lower lash line. Now I'm using that flat brush again to press some black eyeshadow, this time down along the lower lash line just below the liquid liner. I don't want there to be a harsh line where the liquid is, I want the black to fade gradually out to that burgundy. Once again then I'm pressing the shadow down along the lash line and I'm going back in with my smudger brush and just smoking out those edges. Now I'm using Urban Decay's Alkaline Eyeliner Pencil in the waterline and this will add a nice pop to the waterline and complement that burgundy shadow surrounding the eyes. For lashes then I'm taking these new ones by Kiss and Kiss are one of my favourite brands of lashes, they're very beginner friendly, they've started adding more dramatic lashes to their line and I'm living for it. I think these particular ones tie the look together nicely. To finish things off then I'm just adding some mascara to my top and bottom lashes and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful Halloween and I'll see you all soon.